not what? You don't even know what you worship, Mormons. You don't even know. I've asked you guys, do you worship the Father alone? Do you worship the Father and the Son? You won't answer me in front of other Mormons because you don't know. You worship ye know not what. You don't even know who you worship. You're not a god in embryo, Mormon. You're a sinner in full bloom. God never had a score woman to become a god. He was always God. God's not a sinner like you. God never sucked on a baba like you. God says, before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. God's got the position filled, Mormon. No vacancies. You think God needs a sinner like you? Why do you always repent, Mormon? Because you can't get it right. DNC 58 tells me that you can tell if somebody really repents because they'll forsake their sin. You've not forsaken your sin. You haven't stopped. You haven't done all you can do. You're saved after all you can do, supposedly. You mean you can't pray five more minutes? You've done all you can do. You're lost, Mormon, headed to hell because you're following a false prophet. In 1960, the prophet at General Conference, Kimball, said that if you get right, you'll turn white. Is that what you call a prophet? Get right, turn white. I have conference report with me if you want to see it. Can I hear a testimony of that you'll get white if you turn, if you get right? How about a testimony from some Mormon out there, huh? Why was the prophet preaching if you get right, you'll turn white? You're following a false prophet. You're going to end up in hell, Mormon. Jesus Christ came to seek and to save that which is lost. That's you. You're lost in your trespasses and sin. The first time you sin, you prove what you are. You're a sinner. You're not a God named real.